Hey guys, Fox here, and I'm going to teach you how to create a cymbal roll that's usually used on orchestral pieces. So, what you need to do is if you're using Free Loops 9, it's under PAX, and then Legacy, and then FPC, and then Cymbals. If you're in Free Loops 8, you won't see Legacy, it's just under FPC, and then Cymbals. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a cymbal, almost like a ride, nothing with too much of an attack, but we want a good solid attack at the same time. For instance, that's a little too less, and that's a little too much. So the one I'm personally going to use is... See, that's too much. So I'm going to use the G18 in light 03. So we're just going to drag that into the sampler, or whatever it is that you're going to replace. And we're going to move this up so it can have 12 beats. All right. Um, now... What we're going to do is we're going to put 16th notes in for the first 8 beats. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 12 left. So now it's going to sound like this. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is click this button right here, the graph editor, which is right next to the keyboard editor. And it comes up velocity. So we don't have to worry about any of this because there's no notes. So we're going to start with this one, bring the velocity all the way up. So now, just while clicking and dragging, just do something like that. Now my curve is a little too much, I'm just going to try it again. Alright, we'll try that. Alright, now there's still a little too much attack in there. You can hear that that hit each one. We want it to be smooth, not so choppy. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up just by clicking it and go to the ends. We're going to move the attack slightly to the right. Now it just doesn't seem to be loud enough, so we're just going to go ahead and turn up the volume. Now what we're going to do is click this click the arrow and click assign free mixer track it'll open up the mixer go ahead and compress it by clicking this arrow and then select and then fruity compressor <clears throat> or whatever compressor it is that you like to use I already have a template saved for what I like for my settings and now we're going to add some reverb so select and then fruity reverb there should be a preset in here called for strings and we're going to use that one if you can't, if you don't have one like that, the low cut is 75 and the high cut is 4 kilohertz. Um, the decay is just 1.5 and the reverb is 40%. No wetness. Now, I personally want to warm this up a little bit. So when you're at the color selection, just move it up to about right there. All right. Well, it's still not too loud enough, so you can either adjust it here or here at the mixer. So, what's left is the EQ. I personally like using the parametric EQ, or you can use any other VST, like the parametric EQ uh, and not number two, uh, Equo, any of these work, or you can get one online anywhere. But I personally like this one. So, you can tell it's really big in the highs. So we're gonna take some lows out. Try to get your EQ to look like this. All right, well, there's your roll. So now let's put this in a piece. Okay, so during that little break, I had created just a little piece so I can demonstrate the cymbal roll that we created. So I have a basic cello doing a melody. The cymbal roll is going to hook into the next part and then do the, also the ending. So I'll let you just listen to this. Here's the cymbal roll. And the fade out. So that's a little demonstration of what you can do with the cymbal roll and how it's used in orchestral pieces. I hope you enjoyed this.